Hello everyone, today I have a pretty special comparison test for you to determine pros and cons or even the best option for a Canon Tilt Shift 24mm lens. We have a three option or three lenses. First one is a Canon TSE 24mm 3.5 L series Mark II lens. Then we have a Samyang 3.5 24mm EDASUMC lens, fully manual. And then we have an option more, rather than just a lens. It's a 17 millimeters TSE F4 L series lens with a Canon extender EF 1.4 third generation Mark III. And this one gives us roughly 24 millimeters equivalent. So we have three options. Before we go into the build quality, sharpness, prongs and cores on each and every lens or option, let's go outside and shoot some images to compare. Back to the office and I shot additional series of 9 shots to see how the lens behaves in a close proximity of an object. I shoot everything on a Canon 5D Mark IV with the same settings, except on location in uh, Moscow city, I accidentally shot on f22 on Samyang lens, because Samyang lens has a f-stop ring on its body and you have to switch it manually, I accidentally switched to the extreme position f22 when I take it out of the back and I forgot to check it but back in the office I shoot everything f8 let's dig into the sample shot I will have a link for you for all 18 row files from both locations so you can examine it yourself I will just go quickly through some of the points we have two locations Moscow city and my office both locations have three folders with the middle lens position extreme top and extreme bottom shift position. So if you look at the old photos individually, they look pretty similar. Good quality, sharp, with a decent chromatic aberration. And only when you compare each of them individually, you will see the differences. For example, some young lens have a tendency for warmer color than both Canon produce more natural looking shots. 17 mm Canon have more shift distances, so it captures more when shifted at top and bottom position. In the middle part, if we compare a Canon 24mm with a Canon 17mm and extender, we will see that it's pretty close in quality, which makes an extender Mark III a really exceptional piece of engineering. When we compare a 24 uh, Canon with Samyang 24, and however Samyang was shot made on f22, is still sharper than Canon. You can see it especially on Cyrillic typography or bridge window frames. If we look at the extreme corner, we can spot that Samyang has a bit more chromatic aberration, as well as 17 mm, uh, and they have almost the same degree of it. Nothing major, and I believe it can be corrected easily. If we move to the bottom part, Samyang still produce sharper result. Actually, this part is surprised me, because I had a Samyang 24 mm lens before, and it was soft lens. Perhaps my particular lens was faulty or not calibrated correctly, I don't know. Let's move to the office space. Middle part, Samyang, now shot at f8, still produce more sharper images than both Canon. At this point, I am thinking, you know, if I made a mistake with focusing both Canon lens or something, or it's just uh, Samyang is that good. Moving to the bottom part, and we have a surprise. Samyang has a pretty big barrel distortion. 17mm Canon also have a small degree of visible barrel distortion, but not as big as Samyang. Samyang now is not as sharp at the corners as it was in the middle position, but still sharp though. 17mm is sharper on a corner than 24mm, which is a bit of a surprise as well, but have a tiny bit more chromatic aberration. Moving on top, shift position, and we can see Samyang still 
unnoticeable barrel distortion and 17 millimeters tends to lean on the left part or as it seems okay it's just a very quick unscientific examination of the shots uh, we can spend another hour to go through all the shot pixel by pixel but i leave it up to you since i am producing all the 18 raw files for you to examine at your convenience so now we saw all the samples let's talk about lenses itself i start with the canon 24 mm f 3.5 it's an obvious choice for many when considering the 24mm steel shift lens. It's a L-series lens that always stands for quality glass. It's also f3.5, which is nice, but not really so much relevant for architectural photographers since we're shooting on a tripod. It's a great build quality with a great control knobs and lock switch. It will cost you US dollars based on B&H price and it weighs 800 grams. Small tip for you, if you have 17 or 24 millimeters from Canon, I recommend you to switch the tilt and shift controls so you have a bigger and better control knobs. Let's talk about pros and cons for the 24 millimeters Canon tilt shift lens. So the pros for this lens will be build quality, L-series lens, it has a lens hood, you can use 82 mm thread filters on this lens, great tilt shift controls, almost no distortion and sharp. And the cons are price and it's only 24 mm, meaning that it's just one lens in comparison with uh, say another option of uh, 17 mm and extender. Second lens is the Sam Young f3.5 tilt shift lens. Nice quality build lens and quite inexpensive. It has metal body and quite durable. As well as Canon 24mm, it also f3.5. It costs 699 US dollars according to BH price, which is more than twice as cheap as Canon 24mm. It weighs 621 grams. So the pros and cons for Samyang 24mm are the following. Pro for this lens will be a price, build quality is decent for this price, can use 82mm filters on this lens, sharp at edges, and weight. Cons no lens hood. Control knob small and difficult to manage even when you switch shift with the tilt. Not as quality built as both Canon. A bit more chromatic aberration when on other lenses. Barrel distortion and extreme positions. F-stop control manual on the lens and easy to rotate. I have a few times when I accidentally rotate it while putting it in the back or taking it off and forget to check it. Third lens, or I rather say option, is the 17mm Canon tilt shift lens with a 1.4 extender mark 3. on its own 70 mm is one hell of a lens sharp well built and super wide it's actually the widest steel shaft available on the market as of today coupled with 1.4 extender it becomes 24 mm equivalent this setup will cost you 2150 us dollars for the lens and 429 us dollars for the extender which is totally 2,579 US dollars. It weighs 1,034 grams. So the pros and cons for this particular setup are so pros are two focal distances in one package, 70mm and 24mm. If you're lucky to have other compatible lenses, you can use extender on them as well as a bonus. Price, any two combination of lenses, Canon plus Canon or Canon plus Samyang, will still cost more than this setup. As sharp as 24mm Canon, build quality both for 17mm and extender is the L-series lens, great control, weight and compactness in compare with two full lenses, can shift lower and higher than two other lenses. Cons are the following. Some distortion at top position, weight when compared with just one 24mm lens, price, still more expensive option than just a 24mm lens on its own, no sign hood for 17mm, lose one stop of light with with extender can't use filter for this as easy as 24 millimeters there are a few filter system on the market for this lens but they are bulky and filters are expensive to add to this setup all three options are good for different purposes but all three lenses have one con in common and it's a very loose focus ring i personally prefer more tighter ring however 24 millimeters have more tight ring of them all okay so quickly summarize this of course, you will decide it yourself which uh, lens or option is best for you, for your particular need and purposes. But general recommendation from me will be uh, the following. If you have money to spare and if you're looking only for 24 millimeters, uh, just as a primal lens, I would recommend go for the Canon 24 millimeters. If you're just starting with the tilt shift and you're not sure if you're going to use tilt shift or is it going to be a primal lens, 
Go with the Samyang. It's a very sharp, very robust and an expensive lens. If you're looking for the way to have two focal distances, but you don't have money for two lenses, just use a 17 with extender. I actually went with this uh, solution and for now I'm sticking with that. So there you have it. A short review of 24mm tilt shift option for Canon. And it's now your decision which option to go for. Thank you so much. And if you want to see more videos like that, please subscribe. I'll see you soon.